And with this heat, Carly, I know. <laughs> going to the movie sounds amazing. Yes, a great indoor air conditioned place to take a break from the heat in for at least 90 minutes, but some movies during the three hour mark, right? So we have recorded some really hot heat indices. I wanted to kind of recap what we've seen so far uh, and then look ahead to the upcoming week. So June 17th, we hit our highest heat index ever recorded in Corpus Christi. That was 125 for your feels like temperature. We also hit 120 on June 15th and yesterday it was a 119 actual air temperatures. We've hit four records so far this month. One yesterday was the record max min was tied at 81 degrees for a low. June 17th we hit a high of 100. June 12th we hit a high of 100 breaking the record and then on June 9th we hit a high of 98 which broke the record. We could break the record today and several more days this week but it will be a close call for some. As far as triple digits in June go we are now tied for for the second most with two 100 degree days in 2023. If we could get one or two more even, then we will have the record for the most triple digit days in Corpus Christi. That's not including the brush country. You've seen several triple digit days, but in trip in Corpus Christi at the airport, which is a little bit further inland than the rest of us. But nonetheless, triple digit days, 100 degree temperatures reached in June has only happened nine of the last 136 years, and it's our happened twice this year. We have recorded above normal temperatures for highs every single day this month, except for on June 5th. That's the last time we really saw some uh, some measurable rainfall on the 6th. We saw a trace of rainfall, uh, so it is the fifth warmest on record. Believe it or not, we're not the warmest. We've had some warmer Junes, uh, but we have recorded two triple digit uh, degree days there for records as well, uh, so it's not over yet though. We still have more heat ahead of us. We have seen now 13 consecutive days greater than 90 degrees. Of course, we still have a lot of summer left. The most we have seen is 95 back in 2009. We are trending warmer than normal, so looking ahead to July, it looks like we'll continue to see warmer than normal temperatures, especially for South Texas. This number coming from the Climate Prediction Center. Our normal high right now is 92 degrees. We peak in August at 96, and we've been running above 96 for quite a while now. Here's where we're headed for July, an average high of 93 to 95 by the end of July, the hottest we've ever recorded in July, 105 degrees. Precipitation, there is a chance we see above average precipitation for the month of July, but it's not looking good for us this month for June. We've gone 12 days without rain now, so we're below normal uh, for the month, but we're still running above normal for the year by about 0.8, so that's a positive note there.